Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. Welcome back to the Fixing It Forward series and the conclusion of the Fixing It Forward 2005 Honda Odyssey. If you've been keeping up, we've gone through about six episodes now uh, to get the Odyssey to the point where it is today, where it's ready to be given away. And before the end of this video, I intend to do just that. Now, I met Jennifer and, and I'm gonna let her tell the story of how we met, but I think by the time you hear her story, you'll understand why she's ending up with this van. But before we get to that, why don't we go over a summary of the work that was done to the van to get it to this point before we're giving it away. And it's a big list. I replaced the brake pads and rotors on both the front and rear. I also uh, replaced the brake fluid. The right front inner CV boot got replaced, that was leaking. When it came in, I was told it had a blown engine. And actually I came to find out that the uh, rear catalytic converter, the one in the back was completely clogged with remnants from the catalytic converter on the back of the engine. So it got two new catalytic converters to solve that issue and deal with the exhaust restriction. It wasn't allowing the engine to run properly. In addition to new catalytic converters, both on the rear and in the back, it also got some new O2 sensors. In addition to that, I also replaced the rear control arms and the camber bolts that go through and hold those control arms to the chassis. Uh, those got rusted into place and they had to be replaced. I also replaced the rear coil springs while I was there. So all of that, then it got in alignment. Back up to the engine, uh, the timing belt and water pump got replaced along with the uh, serpentine drive belt. And while I was in there, I also replaced the cam and crank seals on the front of the engine. I also replaced the valve cover gaskets and the grommets. It got a new set of spark plugs and a side engine mount. And while I was in there, I also changed the transmission fluid. The battery was bad when it came in, but the battery terminals were also of the type that I really don't like. So the battery got changed along with the battery terminals. The air filter, the cabin air filter were replaced. Uh, along with there's an air tube that runs from that air filter assembly down to the engine that had some holes in it that got replaced as well. I also reattached the front bumper, but when I had it off, I cleaned the AC condenser, which can actually help quite a bit with AC performance. So that's been cleaned out. The front bumper has been reattached, not with big long screws like it was when it showed up. When installing the front bumper, I also installed a new right front fender liner because the old one was damaged. I also reconditioned the headlights while I had that off because they were kind of foggy and yucky. So they're better and you can see better with them in the dark. It got four new Nokian tires. This was the only thing I didn't purchase with fixing it for money. Uh, Nokian actually stepped up, stepped up and supplied me with those four tires to install. And to be honest, I really like the way it rides. So if you're looking for tires for an Odyssey, Check them out, I'll link stuff down in the description. Uh, also had to put a PCV valve in it. The one that was in it kind of broke while I was working in there. Got new wiper blades so you can see when it rains. On Honda Odysseys, the door rollers can wear out, causing the doors not to move properly and make horrible noises. So I just went through and sort of did a preemptive strike and replaced the door rollers on both sides. I did a little bit of upholstery work. Somebody had been in messing around with the seats. I had to put those things together. Did a little bit of cleanup on the interior, not as much as I would have liked. I was gonna send it off to be detailed, but there's a story there that, that we're gonna get to in another episode and, and you'll find out why that didn't happen. While all that stuff was apart on the engine, the power steering fluid got changed because it all leaked out. The glove box was missing when it showed up, so I got another one of those from eBay and installed that. Uh, there was also uh, an antenna that was connected to a satellite radio, Sirius XM, that was wired into the antenna of the radio, and, and I went and cut out that Sirius XM antenna, but after doing that, the radio reception was really poor, so I had to go back in and repair the wires that they'd tied into when they added that Sirius XM. And I can't forget about the check engine light, which was for the VCM or vehicle cylinder management system. There's a system on this van that as you're cruising down the highway, it shuts off three cylinders to help you save fuel. Well, this is kind of a tricky system. I actually went around and, and almost installed a, a, a component that disables that system, but ended up not doing that. Instead, I ended up taking it to the Honda dealer, getting the computer reflash so that it could work better. So hopefully we don't have a similar issue with what I believe happened is when that VCM system failed, it caused that rear catalytic converter to break apart and go into that other catalytic converter. Thus, somebody thought it had a blown engine. So 
All of those problems have been corrected. It is running better than ever. I, did I mention I also did a valve adjustment while I was in there? So it is running smooth and running nice. Uh, the air conditioning blows cold and all the stuff inside seems to work. Now, for what you probably all wanna know, all of this, the money that I used to purchase the parts for this vehicle came from fixing it forward donations. And after this uh, vehicle that I'm gonna be turning over today, I'm gonna decide what the fate of fixing it forward will be. Uh, for sure, but for now, we've done this. Anyway, parts and everything came out to about $1,200, and that doesn't count the tires that Nokian provided us with. That would likely send that up, uh, well, close to, if not over $2,000. Labor, it's really hard to put a finger on. I'm gonna estimate labor at about 30 hours. And if we did that at $80 an hour, we'd come out to about, oh, 2,400 bucks. So add the 2,400 and the 1,200 together, it's about 3,600. And once again, that doesn't include those tires. But all in all, all that work I did over those six episodes, let's say for round numbers, let's call it like $4,200 if you included the tires and everything, which to be perfectly honest, exceeds the value of you know, a 2005 Honda Odyssey, particularly one that's a little rough around the edges like this one is. However, I believe this to be reliable and will be reliable for some time to come. And it's my hope that this van keeps Jennifer and her family on the road and getting where they need to be for as long as it needs to. Anyway, let's meet them now. Come on in. He's still chill. <laughs> yeah, he usually is. <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Well, it's been a trying week. Yeah, you mentioned that. I got that from your text. Hi. How you doing? Captain. Eric. How you doing? Nice to meet you, Captain. Nice to meet you. I like that. Captain. Well, come check out your new van. Yeah, it was uh, actually owned by... Open it up. I mean, it's yours now. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm sorry it's not cleaner. There's a long story behind that. I was going to get it detailed, but... Uh, I know. I watched all your videos. <laughs> there's th well, that's awesome, because you know all about this van now. <laughs> but yeah, you've got those seats, and then in the back here, you've got a whole other row. Oh, wow, you used to have to take them out all the way. And then it makes like a huge storage. Yep. all my stuff in there. Yeah. And then if you... If you want the open space, oh, wait. Boom. See, that's what that Honda, that's how it's supposed to do. Oh, but right, the goodness. hooks on the seat oh, are broken. Right. Mm. Well, these aren't, it's just dirty. Right. That's, that's okay, nothing. dirty, I can fix. Yep. What is that? That's a DVD player. Oh, snap, <laughs> baby captain. That's and guess what? You, buddy. So, they left a DVD for you. <laughs> So you can watch Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs on your drive home. Hi everybody! You get a chance to meet Jennifer and her husband, Captain. And who's this guy? Baby Captain. Baby Captain. So <laughs> we've got two captains and Jennifer. And Jennifer, how about you just share a little bit about how we first met? <laughs> that was not a good day for me. Um, so basically I bought a used car, a Honda Pilot from a used car lot. I uh, spent every penny we had in savings, um, which was about $3,400 for the car and then another $600 in parts fixing it up just for it to be drivable and everything. And 11 days later, I was driving to my son's doctor appointment, got on the highway and the transmission died. And I managed to turn around and get it off the next exit and was coming up Western Railroad and trying to get it into a parking lot, but I had to stop for oncoming traffic and it would not go anymore. And that is when you saw me jump out like Superwoman and try to push an enormous car by myself, which obviously is not physically possible, and you came to my rescue like Superman. Now, first of all, it wasn't just me. No. There were, there were two, other, I know that. two other good Samaritans that came out and actually pushed your vehicle yeah. out of the way. I was actually stopping traffic so that they could do that. I was very distraught. But, but yes, <laughs> yes, I, I want to I point that out. When I first met Jennifer, hysterical barely begins to describe it. And I didn't see Captain in the back seat. So she had this baby in the back seat of this vehicle that was literally broken down in the middle of the road. And let, let's and there are let's all add these a little cars more. zooming by me, yes. like laying on the yes. horns and stuff. Let's add a little more to this. This is Fourth of July weekend out in front of Kings Island, which is a major amusement park. So to say traffic was 
heavy. It barely begins to describe it. it and was, then there was an officer. Did you see her? She just drove right by me. I'm waving her down. I didn't and see she that. just ignored me. I did, I did and not kept see that going. part. I just saw you. <laughs> saw that you were completely yes. broke down and completely in trouble. Yes. And I said, you know what? I need to help this person. That's when I pulled in behind you. And then, like I said, two other Good Samaritans came and pushed you out of the way. They did. And then I told you who I was and what I did, drove you home. And then that whole time I'm thinking, because I was just about <laughs> finished with this van. And I was trying to figure out, okay, who am I going to give this to? How am I going to set this all up? And I said, I just bought this vehicle. What am I going to do? And you said, I know what you're going to do. <laughs> and that's how we met. So that, it's, it literally just fell on my lap. And here's something even more interesting. I had just gone to the Taco Bell there to grab my lunch. And I was going to make a right-hand turn and then leave that way. But traffic was, like I said, really Terrible. heavy, and I couldn't go that way. So I actually turned left and went the other way that I wouldn't normally go, yeah. and that's where I ran into you. It's so like I was, I was never exactly, made a move that day. That's, that's <laughs> the only did. thing I can attribute it to, and that's why I'm putting this out there, because I literally ran into Jennifer, <laughs> and this is what I found. So those of you that donated to Fixing It Forward, I just did the work. There were a lot of people that donated all the money that paid for all the parts and everything that went into this van. So it's not just me. Many of my viewers also contributed. Go away. <laughs> not you. You're not a part of this. <laughs> so it, it, it's not just me that contributed to this, but I'm happy it's going to I you. Because to me, it seemed like this is where it's supposed to go. If, if I'm literally sitting there and you land right in front of me, Especially how can... Yeah, and, and you know, this is just one of your kids. You have five kids. We kid have five. So yes. you have five kids total. Yep. Yes. So a minivan is like the perfect, perfect. vehicle perfect. for you. Perfect, yes. Yeah. So in other words, this is why Jennifer and Captain are getting this van. <laughs> I can't thank you enough, and I can't thank everyone who donated the money enough. It's, this is an amazing thing well, that I'm, you have done. I'm very happy that you're getting it. I'm very happy that you're both able to drive away, and you don't have to worry about that. And I'm very, very much hoping that you're not going to end up hysterical on the side of the road <laughs> with this thing. Because that, that was my I goal. I hope so, too. And that's why I put all those miles on it. I wanted to make sure. Yep. It's such a disappointing thing when, you know, first... You, you know, you think you, you've been without a vehicle and, and you buy one and, and you think everything's cool and you're so happy you got another ride and, and, and then you break down 11 days later. It's just so disappointing, you know? Okay, a couple of things. Beware when you buy as is because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Now, the person you bought it from, we talked about this earlier, he said he might help you with a transmission yes. or something like that. So he's actually doing you a huge favor by yes, doing that. I know. He's, he's taking pity on you. But as is vehicles, and also make sure you have it checked out by a mechanic before you buy it. By yeah. somebody that like knows that type of vehicle. Like if it's a Honda, take it to somebody who knows Hondas. Yeah. That would help you help, help insure. Well, we all should have. And okay? I've been kicking myself. We, 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 all, we all live and learn. But that's part of what's in this video. The people that watch my videos, I'm hoping they can take that information and say, hey, before I put down my hard-earned money on a vehicle, yeah. I'm going to have somebody look it over and make I sure really what I know what I'm getting into. I really jumped the gun on that. Well, you, you I needed, needed a, vehicle. a vehicle. You needed a vehicle. Yeah. I get it. And yeah. I was like, look, this is a nice-looking vehicle. I can fit all my right. kids in here. Boom. Paid. Right. Let's go. You right. know? And right. it was a mistake. Right. Well... It seemed to work out. I was going to say. It seemed like a mistake. It seemed like a mistake. A blessing in disguise. That's what it was. So, anyway, thanks to everybody that donated. and Thank you. Yes. Take care, guys. Thank you. Enjoy your new van. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. All right, Jennifer. It's time for you to drive away. I know. I'm so excited. This van is so nice. Oh, no. it's Those are power seats. So, yeah. There you go. Does this one have a memory in it? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Because like some of them have like a oh. seat memory and they, all your mirrors and everything will go back to the same place. Well, I'll be the only one driving it, so it only has to remember It sounds me. to me like you are going to be the only one driving it. <laughs> Just hide those keys. They're yours now. <laughs> Uh-oh, what am I doing wrong? Nothing. Oh, there's a button. No, no, button. no, no, no. Just turn the key. Sorry. It's new. <laughs> it's new. Time. You're getting used to it. It's your first time. Yes. This one actually runs and drives. Yes. Very much an improvement. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> there it goes. It's off to a new home. 
I couldn't be happier, and I hope you understand why Jennifer got that vehicle. That story was just too weird. To me, it seemed like that van was always hers, and I hope you agree. I'll put links in the description to the video series, so if you're not familiar with everything that happened to get to this point, you can catch up. Also, if you have automotive questions, I'll put a link to ericthecarguy.com down in the description. So the description has more stuff. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you everyone that donated to Fixing It Forward. You made this happen just as much as I did. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.